So guys, I'm going to be doing a little breakdown of one of my most uh, viral clips uh, training here at B Team. The clip I'm specifically talking about is my round with Haisam Rita. He's an ADCC vet. He's got you know tons of big wins over big names like Cyborg. And uh, in our round, I was able to hit a Koichi double off an arm drag grip. Oh, <laughs> wow. Everyone went nuts when that happened. I'm trying to buggy choke you. You're missing the buggy choke. <laughs> See, that's the ultimate technique there is fake a handshake when you guys separate and go to reset and then shoot. We went out of bounds and we went to go reset. Hysam goes to smack my hand and then shoots and gets into a double. Mental game. We started out in a right versus right situation. Yeah, I came out, I reached for his shoulder and he did a good job of coming up to my wrist and keeping it off. As he peeled my wrist off, I just took an outside step. As I take this outside step, I shoot my arm high up into the armpit. The mistake a lot of people make is that when they go for the arm drag grips, they just think about grabbing the tricep. Okay, but if I just grab the tricep, especially if we're sweaty, it's going to be pretty easy for him to just pull his arm out. So whenever I take my outside step, I just think about kind of karate chopping his armpit so that my arm shoots super high. Now from here, I start to drag my opponent's arm across. As I drag it across, my right leg comes off the mat, I shoot, and I drop down to my knee as I hook. Now, in live training, at the same time, I want this arm to be coming around the corner. If my arm stays here, there's a chance he can circle around to my back. So, as we're shooting this knee down to the mat, we always make sure that we circle our, our arm out, come around the second leg, and my left arm comes elbow deep like so. Then from here, it's fairly easy to just drive with my shoulder and sit my partner down and end up in good passing position. So I actually started doing this takedown years ago. I believe I started working it right before 2017 ADCC. This was actually like the only takedown that I knew. It was that and like another drag where I switched to a single. Um, but yeah, for like the first two years of my wrestling, this was like the only takedown I could hit. This is the takedown that I'm going for when I'm uh, wrestling much bigger opponents, uh, just because it kind of eliminates the ability to sprawl because you, you're hooked in behind the ankle so they can't get their leg back to sprawl.